Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode of the Bridge Taylor TV. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share my videos, leave your comment in the comment section below so that I can get back to you. You understand what I mean? Click on the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you're notified every time I have a new video. It's another day and another me, and today I'll be talking about customers. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Customer is always right. Customer is king. Customer is... Ugh. Absolutely, they are. They are. Um, so there's something I usually say, right? When, if you're running a business, right? If you're running a business and, hmm, no one should come for me. I'm just saying. If you're running a business and you earn a living from actually running your business, you'll be sweet to your customers. Standard. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much money you own, they sort of, are the propellers of that money that you have. So if you think like this, first of all, you're gonna be sweet to your customers. Yes, will they get on your nerves? Absolutely. Will they try to trigger you a lot of times? Yes. Are they toxic sometimes? Yes. Did they, are they, did they leave you with traumas? Yes. I understand. But most of the time, I would like to say this, it's your fault. So for SMEs, right? For this is this is this is for SMEs. Like when you want to be there for your customers, or you want to um, understand their love languages and all of that stuff. This is not for large scale businesses because you don't have you don't you don't tend to know all of your customers. But there's a general view of how you can be there for them, and I'll probably talk about that in another video. But in this video, I'm talking about SMEs who still interact with their customers. Yes. Know your customer's love language, like literally, individually, or at least to a very, very large extent. Know the customers who like to be cared for. Know the customers who like to be spoken to politely. Know the customers who like to be attended to very quickly. Know the customers who do not like you speaking down on them. Know the customers who think that they run the world and you're treating them like shit. Like, understand their love language. I'm not saying know that, oh, they like gifts and chocolate and all that stuff. If you can do that, that's great too, but understand who your customers are and treat them accordingly. You cannot give sweets to a customer that just likes to be spoken to softly. You cannot speak softly to a customer who likes to like run her transaction or his transaction quick and steady, right? Know your customer's love language and this will help you a lot. I don't have a lot of customers who stress me, I promise. But I had this one customer not too long ago, like uh, two years ago-ish. And we, every time, every time, I, every time I knew she was coming, I'll take a deep breath because I'm like, oh my God, she's coming again and she's going to be problematic. So I, I sat down and thought about it and I was like, okay, why is she constantly unhappy every time she, she comes? Like, she looks like she's going to swallow everyone else. Of course, she's quite sweet to me. But my, 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 my staff were not able to um, deal with all of the quote unquote drama that came with her being around. So I thought about it and I saw that, okay, she, she wanted to be treated as part of the family. She didn't want to feel like an outsider. She didn't want to feel like a customer. She wanted to feel like she, was, she, she is a part of the business in some way, right? And I solved that problem now we can't wait to see her every time like we look forward to seeing her she's very sweet she's so understand what your customer's love language is and that way you'll be able to handle these things second thing is to make their life easier no customer wants to go through the stress of dealing with or oh. okay so your customer do not want to go online place an order and then send you a message separately and then go. the person does not, your customers do not want too many processes they want everything as seamless as possible and you need to help that happen you need to be the one to help them make their life easier because no customer want to be in a position where they have to they would feel like they work for you if a customer orders a dress and the customer has told you what color they want please don't ask them do you want do they want room temperature like they can't be bothered they've already told you what they want give them all the detail that they need at a go so that that way their the processes are faster they're getting their results and everyone can move on and the customer experience is sweeter okay, okay if you promise a customer you're going to give a hard address at two o'clock and you can't make it for two o'clock which is understandable because a lot of factors could happen why not reach out to her at 
nine o'clock in the morning and say, okay, you know what? I'm foreseeing that this dress might not be ready for two. Is there anything I can do? Do you actually, actually really need to take it today? Can I bring it first thing in the morning? Um, you know, there are a couple of things you could do just to make sure that your customer is happy, especially keeping your word. In this line of business, in regard to fashion, in this line of, in this fashion industry, or not the industry, because I don't know, in this fashion space, not the space, I don't know, but <laughs> as a fashion designer, a lot of people have tagged fashion designers as people who disappoint, who do not come through. Why not try to stand out and come through for people, come through for your customers? Don't tell them one thing and mean another thing. Don't tell them one, don't let them show you one design and what I order, what I got. Keep your word. Make your customer happy. Make your customers trust you. Make your customers trust you. This is what that does for you. If you promise a customer you're gonna give her a dress on Friday and you've constantly met up with your, like you've never, you've never faltered on a promise and that one time something is going wrong, like everything is going to shit and you really can't meet up for Friday. The customer needs the dress for Saturday at 12 o'clock. If you promise, if you call the customer and say, oh, okay, I'm foreseeing that a lot of things might happen and I might not be able to give you this dress for Friday, but I'd make sure it gets to you for 9 a.m. in the morning on Saturday. She wouldn't be afraid that you would actually come through for 9 a.m. So she would say, oh, it's okay. Sure, 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 I'd wait. But if you are constantly disappointing, she's already going to be aggravated. Like, what the hell are you saying? And she doesn't even trust that you're going to come through for 9 and her event is for 12. So she she'd probably arrest you because you never come through. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, Put your customers first, make your customers happy. Make them know how important they are to your business. Remind them in your actions, in the way that you treat them, in the customer experience that you give them to help them remember how important they are to your business. All right, guys, I hope you've learned a lot from this, which I'm, I'm, just, I'm certain you have. All right, have a great time. Make sure you like my videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure you leave a comment on the comment section. Turn on post notifications so you're notified every time I have a new video up. All right guys, toodaloo, bye.